This video is going to be about the sacrum and coccyx, which you can see on page 14 of your blue bone packet. We'll start with the sacrum, which you can be seen here is orange. And there are five vertebra that are fused in the sacrum. And the coccyx on the bottom here has three to five vertebra. So we'll look at the individual sacra. We have a human sacrum on the right. Human. And this is the anterior view of the human sacrum and we have the posterior view of a plastic sacrum. So we'll look at the features. We have the base of the sacrum. The base on top here. The superior articular process. Right here. Which contains the superior articular facets. Superior articular facets. Which is gonna articulate with L5. Which you can see here, it articulates very nicely. L5 and superior articular facet of the sacrum. There is the promontory Promontory here on the, the anterior. anterior side. Then there's ala, which are the wings. There we go. Ala, they look exactly like wings. The transverse ridges. Transverse ridges on the anterior side. Where the five vertebra have fused. We have the anterior sacral foramina. Anterior sacral foramina. And a posterior view would reveal the posterior sacral foramina. Here we go. The apex of the sacrum is inferior. The apex is here. The median sacral crest can be seen on this. Median sacral crest. The sacral hiatus can be seen on all of these sacrum. Sacral hiatus here and a great example here. The sacral cornua can be seen as well. Cornua is plural for cornu which is horn. There's also cornua on the coccyx. Here we go, here's the coccyx and the cornua are the horns here on the coccyx. The sacrum articulates with the hip bone. And here's the articular surface. The hip is also known as the ox coccy, and if we look here, we can see the articular surface. Or it articulates with the hip. The, all right, 